Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you the new X app released by GitHub, uh, which is called GitHub Trade. So you can see here there's the website and in order to open this um, X app you must go to website github.net slash trade dash X app and click on go to go to some. And I'm gonna do that now on my emulator here. So I'm going to go to the browser. I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And then you can see here that if I click on the link again, there's the go to some uh, button. And now I'm gonna enter the super secret password here again. And now we are uh, in the GitHub sum app. So this is an X app. And one thing I'm gonna mention before, so if you close that here, there is an option, so if you click again on that one here, so on the on the menu or on the main button, then you have to see the last opened app, and also there's another X app. If you click on view more, you can click on X app history, so you can also see the old apps. And in this case, I can just click on GitHub Trade again. So right, so now it's uh, now it's being loaded, and you can see here the more be uh, well the beautified um, charts here. Uh, we can see the order book, so I can could, for example, sell XRP, and I could, for example, sell one XRP, and uh, I can also select the trading pair. So all the trading pair, trading pairs, GitHub supports are also here. For example, there's also a trading pair for Casino Coin to Euro or Dash to Euro or whatever. Um, I guess it, right, this last price. Mm -hmm. And right, for example, we could buy some casino coin for euros. So if I do have, you can see here the euro balance. I've got one euro, I've got 57 casino coins. I'm gonna buy one or two casino coins. Um, I will have to, okay, right, so I'm just gonna enter it here. So, um, right, so, but I don't want that many. I want three casino coins. Ah, great, okay, now it seems to work. So you can buy, for example, one casino coin. If you click on, on that one here, it, it enters the price, but I could all, you could also probably enter it yourself. And if you would buy one casino coin for like the small amount here, so, so 0 0.2 cents, 0 cents, I will confirm now. And then the offer is being prepared. And this is, like I said, these are all trades on the uh, on the decentralized exchange, which lives on the XP Ledger. And you can see here, I'm selling one casino coin for, um, right now I'm selling casino coin. Uh, and I will get 0 0.02811 euro. So I'm gonna do it, oh, well, I'm gonna sign it for now. Again, you have have to sign now the transaction. It's being sent to the XP Ledger and validated. And then we're good to go, right, and it's done. And now just bought, uh, sold, uh, sold some casino coin now 58, uh, 56 instead of uh, 58, I think. Right, yeah, that's how it works. So you can, it's it's very simple, but it's so I like the, it's just a more beautiful um, UI and the better user experience here. So the trading pairs look pretty cool. Also the design looks great. And also in trading XRP to Euro, for example, or XRP to US dollars. You can see the, here the issuer, so it would be XOP um, to you to US dollars, and under USD you can see the issuer. And we could, for example, buy XOP or sell XOP, uh, and click on the responsive tab, for, ex tab. for example, would be selling XOP. So right now, do not have a trust line, so I'm not gonna do that, so it's gonna be set automatically. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna do that then. Um, I'm gonna sell, for example, I'm going to click on sell XRP, I'm going to sell one XRP. They will, unfortunately, I will have to enter the price, I guess, myself here. So I'm just going to enter the last price, so one to one. And right, so yeah, that's, that should work then. And then it's being updated automatically, I guess. So I'm just going to sell one, 0 0.1 XRP. Uh, I'm just going to confirm that now. We can see here now, I will be selling 0 0.1 XOP. I will be getting 0 0.07121 to US dollars, and I'm going to sign that. So also the trading is very cheap. So you can see here right now, I'm just paying, I think the fee is 0.2% as mentioned uh, in, in the tab, so the issue fee. And right, it should have worked now. So now I, okay, so it's not refreshing that I guess, but I'm just going to close it quickly. So is it here? Nah, I don't think it worked. Did it? Ah, okay, the office created, so it wasn't f fulfilled yet. So we, c we still have to wait until it's being fulfilled. So the offer is created, 
and at some point it might get fulfilled. Um, right now it's set the price of the last price, so now we have to hope that a um, a a buyer jumps in more or less, and that the price so that somebody that so somebody can well that some offer can be, so some buyer can be matched with my offer. So we will have to wait for that. So since I said it wrong, I could also then probably let's again go to GitHub so it hasn't gone through, so it wasn't fulfilled yet. And if I go to the open orders, I can still see them here. So you can see here, for example, I'm currently that, that hasn't been, been fulfilled yet. So I'm just going to click on the X here. I can also cancel it again. All right. Yeah. So, okay, again, so it's being validated. It usually takes, again, like 3.8 seconds until it happens. And right, that's it, basically. I hope you liked the video. I hope you've learned something and see you in the next video.